shake up for the Beltline Partnership Board today. Two prominent members have resigned. And Channel 2 Sophia Choi, live on the Beltline in Northeast Atlanta, where one of the men says low income families basically funded their own displacement. Justin, walkability and livability are two key components out here on the Atlanta Beltline. But some say another key component is getting left behind, and that's inclusivity. Ryan Gravel came up with the idea for Atlanta's Beltline and envisioned it to include everyone. But the lack of affordable housing spurred him to resign from the Beltline Partnership Board. He hopes it's a wake up call for the board to move faster to make the Beltline more equitable. But also a wake up call to people. I mean, you know, we, we built this Beltline because people demanded it. And I think that if the people of Atlanta will also demand that we address affordability, that they'll speak up. That I think that we'll do it. Nathaniel Smith also resigned from the board. He says much of the Beltline money was linked to a diverse tax base. So essentially, he says lower income families getting pushed out funded their own displacement. Beltline users we spoke to say that's not fair. And I don't want to displace people who have lived here for a long time and can't maybe afford to go elsewhere so that I have access to something like this. The Beltline Partnership Board sent me this statement saying, in part, while disappointed that Ryan and Nathaniel did not feel they could advocate for these critical issues as members of the Atlanta Beltline Partnership Board, we remain committed to continuing to work with them to promote solutions that deliver the full, inclusive vision of the Atlanta Beltline to all of the communities it connects. The people of Atlanta really want something that is inclusive. And if this sort of is a spark to get people involved in the project again um, and get them to speak up, um, you know, that's worth, that's worth all of any anguish or disappointment that I might have. Now, Gravel says he wants to make it clear he is not bashing the Beltline or the board. He's just frustrated that affordable housing along the Beltline isn't happening faster. We're live in Northeast Atlanta along the Atlanta Beltline. Sophia Choi, Channel 2 Action News.